The French government takes a stand for teachers after a Paris school principal resigned in the face of online death threats. On national TV Wednesday, the prime minister said France will sue a teenage student who accused the principal of hitting her after she refused to remove her headscarf. I've decided the state will file a complaint against this young woman for slanderous accusations. The state will always stand with these officials, those who are on the front line facing these attacks on secularism, these attempts at Islamist entry into our educational establishments. On February 28th, the principal told three female students they should obey the law and remove their head coverings. Two complied, but a third, an adult in a vocational training class, did not. There are contradicting versions of what happened next. The headmaster caught her like this. He shouted once, twice. She didn't take it off. Did you see it? No, but my friends told me in detail. He caught hold of her and the girl didn't like it. The headmaster didn't hit a pupil. He simply asked the student who was crossing the room to take off her headscarf. France's education minister visited Lycée Revel in early March to show her support for the headmaster. He was provided personal security. Still, students were told Tuesday he chose to take early retirement. For head teachers' unions, it's a worrying incident. C'est une situation qui peut it's a situation that could happen to any of us because we make sure that the law and secularism is respected. And we can end up faced with those who want to break this rule. The student filed a legal complaint against the principal, which was later dismissed. Now she is the one facing legal action.